welcome to Learning Mool. Today we are learning with Play-Doh and um, really exploring its educational uses. Um, in this lesson we're going to look at story problems and how we can take it up a level. Um, so we're going to think about multiplication in this. Um, Aaron's starting out on his multiplication journey. Um, is starting to really think about his times tables and what um, multiplication actually means. So it's a great way of telling that little um, word problem or that little um, mathematical story to really get children thinking about not only um, performing calculations but actually applying those mathematical skills and starting to problem solve. So here's my little story, okay, are you ready? So there's three little snakes, go slithering one day, off they go and they're going to um, the Snaky River for a little swim. Okay, they've all got their swimming suits on. Do you see their swimming suits? Mm, yeah. Yeah, their swimming suits are spotty. So I want to know, so you've got three snakes and they've got two spots each on their little sim swimming costumes. I want to know how many spots do they have all together? Six. Okay, can you tell me how you did that? So this is the part where you really want your child to discuss um, their methods for working this out. Just counted. One, One. two, three, four, five. Right, so you could just count. Excellent. What else could you do? Um, you can time table. Oh, okay, so what could you do with times table? Like, there are three snakes and yep. each one of them had two spots. So what does That's that mean? That's three times two. Excellent. Well done. What about steps, counting in steps? Could you do that? Um, what could you do? Instead of saying one, two, three, four, five, six, what could you do? Um, could you count this one first? So how many has that got? Two. Four, six. Oh, so three different ways. You could just count them. Mm -hmm. You could multiply them. Or you could count in steps of two. Mm -hmm. Very good. That's loads of different ways of problem solving. So you get that lovely rich language out and a little bit um, of actually visual representation. And feel free to allow your child to make the snakes and add the spots and make up their own stories. Okay, do you want to make up a story for me? Yeah. There are three snakes called Barry, Tim and Tom. They saw some rats and started chasing after them. Date them? Yeah. Ugh. Barry got caught too. Tim got four, but... How many did Tom get? Tom got none. Ah, oh, poor Tom. So what's your question? Two plus... Four equals what? <laughs> Two plus four equals what? Mm. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So they got six snakes up and they're going to eat them off, I guess. The end. The poor no. little rats were the end. So, kindly, Tim shared two, two. Oh. oh, so they shared them in the yeah. end, so it was a happy ending to the story. Yeah. So again, that nice idea of sharing, so it's really starting to get the idea of now of division, introducing concepts themselves that I didn't even think of. So um, just a really nice educational tool for that visual representation of um, problem solving.